Hi there, this is Sharon with simplycanning.com. Today I thought I would go over the differences in the All-American Canner, All-American Pressure Canner, and the Presto Pressure Canner. I get questions a lot on what the differences are, which one is better than the other. And I have both, obviously. I use both. And so there are some differences, but they're, but they're really both a very good canner. Some of the things that they have in common are some of the safety features, obviously. Um, on the top of both lids, there's this little rubber plug. You can see that here. And that plug is a safety plug. And if the pressure inside the canner ever gets too high, then that plug will blow out and all of the pressure is going to go straight up in the air. And so that's the safety feature. Both of the canners have that. Both of the canners obviously have the base pot that are the same. Now my two canners are both the size, they're 22 quart, and they will hold 7 quart jars or 19 pint size jars. And the way that works is they're tall enough that you can stack your pint size jars. You can have two layers. You put a layer of jars in and then you put a rack and then another layer of jars on top of that. So both of my canners have that capability. Both companies, the Presto and the All American, make a canner that's even larger where you can stack your quart size jars. So that's another option um, that you might want to think about. They both have a rack in the bottom. The racks are exactly the same. It's just a flat disc. And the, the disc has holes in it and that allows the water to flow underneath your jars and, and keeps the jars up off of the top. Now you can see it's really not very much of a rack. It's very thin but it's just enough to keep your jars off of the bottom of your canner. And the racks on both of these canners are exactly the same. So now let's talk about some of the differences in the canners. They both have positive points and they both have things that I don't quite like about them. So let's start with um, how they clamp down onto the, onto the canner. This is the Presto canner here and the lid Inside this lid is a rubber gasket. Now that gasket is what seals the pressure and seals it and allows the canner to come up to pressure. That gasket has to be replaced every once in a while. It'll last quite some time. It'll last anywhere from five to ten years. It just depends on how often you use it and how you use it. But that can't. But that gasket does need to replace be replaced on occasion. And the way this canner clamps down. If you look at the lid, you probably can't see it in the camera, but there's a little mark here on the lid. It's a little V, and you line that up with a V that's on the handle here. You line that up, set it down, and then you just twist it. And that's what locks that lid onto the canner. Really pretty simple. The All-American canner is made quite a bit differently. It does not have a rubber gasket. It has what they call a metal to metal seal. And if you look at the lid right here, there's an angled section here. And that angled section fits right onto the metal of the base pot. And it also has a mark on the lid. You're going to line it up here. You're going to turn it so that it's in line, and then you're going to use these clamps. These screw clamps, you want to do one on either side, and you clamp it down like so. It's really very simple. And you just want to go all the way around until each of these clamps is clamped down. And what you want to do is you kind of want to make sure that the, the lid is set level. So I always kind of eyeball it and just look here and see if the lid is crooked, it might not seal. So you want to make sure that's straight. So that's the different ways that the lids clamp down. The handles is another thing that is quite a bit different in the two canners, and I like this one a lot better. This is all American hand, can, all American canner just has a handle right on the very top. Now the older versions, maybe they have a different type style handle, but this one I really like. It's on there, it's um, some kind of a plastic, it does not get hot, it's really easy to pick the whole canner up, and you don't have to be 
very close to the hot canner when you're when you're processing. The Presto pressure canner, on the other hand, I don't really care for the handles that they've put onto these. When this canner has just come down from pressure and it's very, very hot, what you have to do is you have to open it this way. And inevitably, steam comes out right here where your hands are and, you're, and you have a chance of burning your fingers. I burnt my fingers a couple of times, nothing serious. Um, but you, I end up holding it like this to try to take it off. And it's just not very comfortable. And I've been canning a long time, and so it's not like I'm just careless. I know the canner is hot, but um, it's just something that you need to be aware of. The older style Prestos, if you buy an older version, they have this little handle actually kind of comes up at a different angle, and it was much easier to use. I have an older Presto also. And so that's, that's something that I like this handle much better than this handle. Now the weights on the two canners, the press, this Presto pressure canner is actually a dial gauge canner. And so when you're measuring your pressure or when you're looking at whether the canner is up to the proper pressure, you're going to use the dial. The weight for this canner just looks like this and it goes right on that vent pipe. Right there. Um, it does not regulate the pressure at all. It just closes it off so that it will start coming to pressure. You go by the dial, depending on your elevation, as to what pressure you want to reach on your dial. On the All-American canner, it's a little bit different. It does have a dial, but you use this as a weighted gauge canner. So the weight for this canner actually has five 10 and 15 pound pressures in this one piece. There's holes around the outside and you set it on your canner depending on the weight that you want. There's 15. If you're very low elevation, if you live in Florida or somewhere, you can go with five. And there's 10. I live at very high elevation and so I always use the 15 pound pressure weight. Um, the dial on here is just an indicator. It gives you an idea of where the pressure is in the canner, but they do recommend you use the weight as your, as your uh, guide for your pressure in the canner. Um, that's kind of a personal preference thing. I like the idea of having the weighted gauge because then I don't have to rely on having this gauge checked every year to make sure it's accurate. And if ever I couldn't get it checked, I know that this weight is not going to change. There's nothing Nothing that I have to check with that. Whereas with the Presto canner, this is the dial gauge and you have to rely on this dial being accurate. If it's not accurate, then you might have issues because your pressure won't be where it needs to be. So that has to be checked. Used to be they have you check it every year. Now they're recommending every other year that you check that dial. So there's a personal preference thing. Um, one thing that the Presto canner has that this one does not have is this air vent lock. When pressure is reached, when the pressure starts building up inside the Presto pressure canner, that little air vent lock will pop up and seal so that the pressure can build. When you're releasing pressure after you're done, that vent lock will drop when it, re when it reaches zero pressure. And so it's very clear that this has reached zero pressure because that thing has gone down. With the All-American canner, you rely on the dial to go back down to zero, and I have found that sometimes that dial will read zero. I go to take this weight off and steam comes out. There's still pressure inside the canner, and so I have to put it back on and just wait longer. This definitely seems to take longer to cool down. Um, I, haven't, I haven't timed it to see if it takes longer to heat it up, but I do notice that it takes much longer to cool down and get back to zero pressure than the Presto. The, the metal, the quality of the metal of each canner, this canner is much heavier. When you just lift the canner up, it's much, much heavier than the Presto pressure canner. Um, they both do the job. They both are made for pressure. They're both made for canning, so this will work. But this is definitely a heavier quality metal. It's machine tooled and, and it's, it's just thicker. This is a thinner metal, and so that's just a personal preference thing. Some people like having that heavier metal. It's going to last longer. Um, some people like this one because it's lighter and it's easier to handle. Um, the heating and cooling, I talked about that. This one seems to take longer to heat up and cool down than this one. And then the last and probably one of the biggest things that people notice is the price. 
the All American Pressure Canner is much, much is much more expensive than the Presto Pressure Canner. Um, depends on where you're buying it, as far as how much more. Um, the quality is there, so I think it's worth more. But if I want to recommend if you can't afford to buy an all-American canner, don't let that stop you from pressure canning and learning how to, how to pressure can. Go ahead and get a Presto. Um, they both will do the job sufficiently. They're both made for pressure canning, so they're both going to be safe. A lot of the little design issues and stuff, those are all personal preference. So um, you just need to look at both and, and make a decision and, and be sure and make a point of learning how to pressure can. It's a lot of fun and you get a lot of good food to fill your pantry. So that is my comparison of the All-American and the Presto. And I want to thank you for listening. You visit my site at simplycanning.com and have a great day.